ng mga ahensya, mga kawani ng gobyerno na naging kapat sa mga inisyatibo, programa ng Anti-Relative Authority as mandated by the Public Act 11032 or the Ease of Doing Business and Efficient Delivery of Government Services. Tonight is a celebration. Celebration indeed because as we celebrate Christmas, which is really about giving, we're giving and recognizing those agencies that have at least complied with the requirements of the law. And this is not a, a total uh, universe that we conducted the test. We did only a pilot test. This is the first time that the anti relative Authority is doing this under a harmonized process. And at first, I'd like to congratulate and commend the men and women behind uh, the, of the anti relative Authority for pulling off this awarding ceremony, which would not have been made possible without the successful rollout of the ARTA Report Card Survey 2.0 pilot implementation. This is a significant step in increasing the efficiency, efficacy, quality, and adequacy of government services. Of course, uh, the women behind the authority could not have done this without the support, cooperation, collaboration of our partners and service, you, our fellow public servants. So as we work to become faster and more efficient, this will be the spark that sets off a significant shift in how the public use government services from slow and ineffective to efficient and outstanding. With the passage of Republic Act 11032, also known as the Ease of Doing Business and Efficient Government Service Delivery Act of 2018, which amended Republic Act 9485 or the anti Tape Act of 2007, the government is now compelled to adopt best practices that would result in streamlining and digitalization, hence improving the country's ease of doing business. And we, as we all know, businesses are less likely to resort to bribery and corruption fixing when their dealings with the government go smoothly. Likewise, with the streamlined, re-engineered, and digitalized pro services, there will be less opportunity for corruption. Indeed, this boosts our global competitiveness, bringing in more investors and opening more businesses that will greatly benefit our economy as we gear up for economic recovery. The app requires the implementation of... We have just witnessed our interview regarding this activity of anti-red tape authority, of course, no other than with Director General Secretary Ernesto B. Perez regarding the story of the report card survey 2.0 and the awarding ceremony today here at Conrad, Manila. This is MJ Albino Balagar of DCMJ Online, Dawa, Sakat, Makabuluhang Journalism, your happiness channel.